Welcome to the uh, the Conrad Rangali uh, Rangali Island Maldives Resort. Just standing at the uh, the main entrance, which is the uh, so you get here off the uh, the seaplane at the uh, the Conrad Conrad Rangali Island Maldives Resort. Alrighty, let's go for a walk around. Go for a walk around. It's a very large. It's almost two resorts in one. Conrad. It's almost two resorts in one. So when you get here, the seaplane uh, brings you there. Then uh, you disembark and uh, go around the place. So. Uh, Okay, let's go for all this walk. It's 100 meters across this bridge, 20 meters to the, uh, the main island. So, welcome to the Conrad and the Maldives people, yeah? Conrad, Rangali Island Resort. We'll go for a full walk around. I'll show you everything. Uh, it's windy, it's a windy day. But at least it's uh, warm. Yeah, the resort is on uh, two islands, uh, Rangali Island, which is where my villa is, and then this one, which is Rangani Finolu Island. Uh, that's the spa just over there. Spa. Uh, and this bridge is uh, interesting because at night, uh, loads of manta rays uh, they go swimming and stuff. Yeah, seaplane terminal. We'll do this, this side first and then we'll walk over the other side. That's one of the other islands. We're in the South Ari Atoll. Just out there you can see one of the other islands. South Ari Atoll. That's about 100 islands. Probably about 20 are inhabited. Yeah, so Ithaka, what makes this place famous is uh, those two buildings there. Uh, Ithaka, this is the world's first uh, underwater restaurant. World's first underwater restaurant, it's like a glass roof. Uh, I was in there earlier, got some good photos and uh, videos. Uh, there's all these fish and sharks and stuff swimming overhead. Yeah, pool and stuff. So, uh, yeah, that's the Staff Island just over there. That's where the staff stay. It's also connected by a bridge, we won't go there. So, we'll just, uh, yeah, we'll walk, we'll walk all the way around this island, this is Rangani Filo Island. And then uh, we'll cut back to my, uh, my island just on the other side. Yeah, there's plenty of sea life in there. Buggy go past. Yeah, water sports are good here, yeah, except uh, it's a bit windy. Uh, I booked the uh, Sunset Fishing Cruise. So take you out on a dhoni and uh, you go uh, hand line fishing. Yeah, it was a bit windy yesterday, so they uh, said uh, maybe another time, mate. But the hotel has a, that's a glass bottomed, uh, glass bottom boat, that one. So you can go in it. Uh, they have two scheduled services, you can go in it and uh, have a look at life underneath. Or you can just go into Ithaka, which is what I do, it's the restaurant. Also look at life underneath, there's lots of fish in the water, yeah, lots. Uh, I saw some manta rays yesterday next to my villa. So I'll, uh, I'll add that bit on to this uh, video. But yeah, it's the, uh, the hotel's underwater boat. The water, se water sports centre is straight ahead. Uh, you can do the, like, the, the jets, the, when, you know the... When the water comes off and you're like floating in the in the air, you can do that as well. Right. These buggies go past. So the resort's on two islands. So the lobby and stuff is on this island. They have that Dhoni service. The Dhoni is like a local Maldivian boat, which goes from uh, this island to uh, the other island, which is that's actually that's the Rangali island just there. Uh, that's where all the overwater villas are, so I'm staying on that island. So all the overwater villas are on that island. See out there, the overwater villas. Uh, there's another, I think that's adults only as well, but anyway. There's a restaurant, a pool. They're all out there, beach. Buggy service, so uh, even though we're walking, uh, and there's lots of reasons you need to come to the main island, even if you're staying on uh, Rangali Island. They have a good buggy service, yeah. You just call them, they come pick you up five minutes and uh, drive you across. Uh, breakfast is they have two restaurants, you know, breakfast on either side. Uh, I had breakfast on this side, 
Yeah, let's just get the buggy to come over. It's a large resort, people. Yeah, it's a good one hour video, this. Yes, yeah, this is the main lobby entrance. That's the Dhoni. MS Dhoni. Does this, does this still play for Chennai Super Kings? IPL is going on at the moment. Yeah, so down here and uh, the beach looking outwards. Yeah, water sports is just there. Okay, go on the beach. Yeah! Okay, we're down to the beach. So we'll walk all the way around this island. Yeah, it's the only service to the other islands down there. We'll walk all the way around this island. And uh, take a buggy to my side. Uh, it's just the main lobby, lobby entrance is here. What a sport, it's just over there. We had a mini rain blitz five minutes, about an hour ago. The rain flight five minutes. And then, uh, yeah, okay, let's just cut through the water sports center. I'll walk into the lobby later. At the end of the circumnavigation. It's windy. Yeah, it's just a water sports center. You've got table tennis, catamaran sailing, jet skiing, paddling. So lots of stuff to do. Yeah, that's the glass bottom boat just there. Yeah, these are all the restaurants and stuff just there. So that's the restaurant. The main pool is just here. This is the horizontal coconut tree. All these people, yeah? Brilliant. The horizontal coconut tree. There's nobody in the pool. The hotel's pool. Good little pool there. The villa has a jacuzzi. Uh, I've got an overwater villa with a jacuzzi. So uh, just going there instead of the pool. Right, so this is Itaka, yeah? It's the world's first underwater restaurant. So put this hotel on the map. Uh, it's more than 10 years ago now they opened uh, the underwater restaurant. Yeah, I was in there earlier. I've uh, put a separate video up just. Uh, the restaurant, but that's where it is. Let's walk around the uh, the island. Just walk up here to get a good view of the uh, the resort. Yeah, so Rangali Island is up there. See the overwater villas. Mine is my villa is just there, basically. So probably the best beach. I don't know if you can hear me talking, yeah, it's very windy. I'll just talk anyway, yeah. Um, yeah, so breakfast was in there. Let's just uh, clear this side before. And then now we can just yeah, set the pool. Breakfast was just through here. It's near breakfast. Let's take it to the bar. 
You know, just walk on the beach all the way around. There's the barn here. And breakfast is at Atoll. Small leaves is on Atoll. There's his breakfast in here. Nobody here, right? Because breakfast is finished. And I saw a stork just there. I was having breakfast on that table. It's just there. That was my table. There's a stork just there as well. Doing breakfast. Ready? I saw the restaurants, but I haven't shown you the lobby yet. Don't worry, I will. Okay, so it is the underwater place. And, uh, more stuff in here. Everything's on sand here, it's really nice. It's nice when you have breakfast sitting on the sand. It's Utah, it's one of the other restaurants. That island there is where staff live, yeah? Uh, the hotel's various uh, boat options. So you've got uh, like a sailing boat. Sailing boat and a speed yacht just over there. And the traditional donies. And so on. Great sight. That's uh, Utah, one of the restaurants. Okay. We've got about a seven minute walk along the beach here to the uh, spa area, which is on uh, this side of this island. Okay, seven minutes. It's the in, in bit to the restaurant of the hotel. There's the staff area. Yeah, so the resort is, it's effectively two resorts in one, Conrad, yeah? Uh, Conrad are part of the Hilton group, Hilton. So Hilton used to have a hotel in the Maldives. Hilton, I've stayed there before, it was about 10 years ago. Hilton Irufushi. Uh, Hilton have closed that down. Um, they're opening a new resort, Hilton. Uh, probably next year, it's, got, it's on nine islands, yeah? Can you imagine that, nine islands? Um, that will happen next year, Hilton, yeah? Uh, so Conrad is part of the family, so this one is two islands, yeah? Uh, there's a Waldorf Astoria opening as well next year. So they're going to, you know, Hilton, Waldorf, Astoria, Conrad, they're going to complete the set. Hilton one's on nine islands, yeah? So the point is that this one is two islands. Each island is effectively the same size as your average Maldives resort. Yeah, so it's a vast, it's a large place. Uh, on this holiday, four nights in different resorts here. Kurumba, Four Seasons, Anantara, Kihabi, yeah? Each of those is on one island of different size. This one is double the size of any of them. Okay, so... So there's two islands, uh, Rangali where I'm staying and Rangani Finolu. So we're walking along the beach at Rangali Finolu. The beach here. So this side is all, all the residences are uh, land-based villas. On my side it's uh, all water villas. So these are all the land-based villas, they're all numbered two. I mean three, four, three, so that one's two, one, zero. Yeah. People's uh, decks here. The other one's two on one. Let's point the camera in so it looks like that. Yeah, let's walk on the beach. Uh, some people here. Let's put the camera on me. Let's walk past. It's about 400 meters uh, from uh, the length of this uh, beach. Okay, let's go down to the water's edge. There's people sitting on their uh, decks. <coughs> yeah, so South Ari Atoll. Maldives has got 26 atolls. Uh, each, the, the atolls are different sizes. They're effectively a volcanic uh, eruption, yeah. There's an underwater mountain range 
called the Chagos Lakadiv Ridge. It's like a thousand kilometer mountain range running north south across the equator in the Indian Ocean. And then the higher bits, coral have grown, coral, and that causes uh, uh, the Maldives basically. The spiral is just up there. All right, that's where we're going, and then now uh, walk to the lobby. Well, I walked all the way around the island. It's the water. We'll get our feet wet later. All right, we'll get our feet wet later. Nice walk, eh? There's people sitting on their decks, and so I'll walk on the water's edge. Privacy. You know the most remote place in the world, yeah, is a place called Point Nemo. It was in the news last week, I can't remember why. Point Nemo, yeah? It's not somewhere in the Southern Oceans, it's not here. I think it's in South Pacific. Yeah, it was in the news last year. I mean, last week. Point Nemo, it's called. I'm not sure if there's an airstrip there for tourists. Yeah. Let me know about privacy for the guests. Let's walk on the water's edge. All right, I think we're clear. The stalk you there. The stalk standing on the water there. Just come back in. Yeah, so spar is straight ahead. Um, when I checked in, one of the options the guy gave, he said uh, they've got some villas out there as well. They're larger, the spa sanctuary villas kind of thing. Uh, with two bedrooms for the spa. He said, uh, you can upgrade it to that if you want. I'll give you a massive discount. It's a larger room. He said, nah, mate. Happy with mine. Uh, it's on the private, it's on the separate, it's on the quieter island. So, uh, yeah, just telling you stories about the place. So, walk on the beach. Let's get around the island, yeah? The plan. Get it in 4K and then it's done. Yeah, it was really windy this morning, yeah? It's, it's a really calm, nice day now. It was really windy this morning. We had one, one episode of rain for about five minutes, about two hours ago. The stalk there. It rained once for about five minutes, yeah? And then uh, it's been hot and dry and uh, warm. This morning it was windy. Uh, it's windy this morning, it's not windy now, it's just nice. Uh, if you ever watch those things fly, yeah? If you ever watch storks fly, it's quite interesting, yeah? Because uh, they sit like that. Yeah, you can see them, yeah? They sit like that, yeah? You see quite a few around the resort. You see quite a few around the resort, yeah? Now, when you get closer, it's not windy now, it's windy earlier, yeah? All they do is they just open the flaps, yeah? The wings and they just float away and the wind blows them in the direction and they just float, yeah? And then they decide which way to go and then they start flapping the wings. It's quite an amazing sight. Uh, pilots, you know, if you're a pilot, yeah? It's like, cool. I'm not a pilot, I'm just saying. Yeah. Flight. He's sitting there, isn't he? Don't worry, you'll see some uh, manta rays on the video. What else we see is what else we see. Yeah, the water's edge, spa straight ahead. All right, we've cleared the beach. How are you doing for time? 20 minutes? Something like that. Ready. So that's uh, Rangani, Fil Rangali, Finholu Islands Beach. I'll just cut through the gardens. Gecko, is it there? We'll just cut through the gardens and uh, walk towards the lobby. Yeah, so this is the spa side, spa retreat area. Let's go and have a look here. Yep, Stalky's still there. Yeah, spa retreat area. And then chill on the sunbeds. Sunbeds. Yeah, so that's another island you can see out there. South Ari Atoll. So where I went last year to the W Resort, that's the North Ari Atoll. The Ari Atoll is a, is a sequence of islands to the west of Mal Malé. Malé is the main capital. So the North and South Malé Atoll, that's where the capital is. That's where you get a seaplane from. Uh, so this is the Ari Atoll, so we're in the South Ari Atoll. Uh, it's about 100 kilometers on a seaplane from Conrad to Marley, takes about half an hour. 
this is the spa. It's rock here. Because it's a spa. The spa retreat, SPA. Alright. If you play uh if you play Formula One, Formula One on the PlayStation, Spa Frankenshamps is there. I think that's the best circuit. Singapore's close. Singapore's good because it's got lots of straights and corners. Straights and fast corners, yeah. Straights and fast corners at the Spa Francochamps circuit in Belgium. There is it Arden Forest area, something like that, yeah. Okay. Let's walk to the gardens for a few minutes. The lobby's in the middle at the other side of the island, let's walk on the beach, yeah. It's got a little herb garden here. Herb garden with uh, trees, with some orange fruit there. Orange fruit. And out there basically. Kind of coconut stuff, yeah? Uh, I've got a herb garden here. We are one with nature, people. Okay, let's walk through the gardens for a few minutes and then now we'll get to the lobby. Yeah. So, Spa Madu is, we just walked past that, yeah. Madu is, they have fish feeding there at 1.30. It's so an hour. I'll uh, walk around here with you guys and uh, go and watch some fish feeding. Yeah, so those are the villas. Those are the beach, the land villas. So on this island, it's all land villas. That's what they are. Uh, I'm over water on the other island. Yeah. Price-wise, these are slightly less expensive. Yeah, it's about 600 US for a land one, and the uh, overwater one started about 650, 700 like that. Different categories. Yeah, it's what you want. The island's the same. It's just whether you prefer to stay over water or on land. I always like to stay over water, yeah. Look out for the, the fish in the ocean. Yeah, I saw some manta rays. Uh, saw some manta rays next to my villa on the other side. I'll show that later. I see lots of fish in the water as well, and uh, it's just nice sleeping uh, over water. Is there going to be a tsunami? There it is. Let's go through the guys. The tennis court just up here. Yeah, some of the beach villas here. It's like that. The difference is, some of them are like one bedroom, some of them are like presidential size, and so on. It's a really nice day. It's not hot. It's not hot and sunny. We're in May, yeah? Uh, they say the best time to visit the Maldives is October to May, uh, which obviously means that, you know, towards the end of May, which is what we are, might rain a bit, rained once for five minutes, that's it. Um, it's just up there, there's a clinic. The clinic and the dive center is just up there, yeah? We're gonna go this way, past the tennis court to the lobbies. Let's walk through the gardens for a bit. Yeah, so it's, it's a nice day, it's not hot. You see the rain on the tennis court? That's the only bit of rain we had. It chucked it down for five minutes, about an hour and a half ago, yeah? That's what it chucked it down for five minutes. It's very nice. Uh, the wind blew it all away. And, uh, yeah. All right, playing tennis on a wet surface like that, yeah? Uh, the weather always, uh, you know, if you're great, you can handle any climate, any conditions, yeah? So Lewis Hamilton in the Formula One, he always, when it rains, yeah, it's a banker, he wins. All right, you know, you just pray for the rain, basically. Lewis is gonna win, yeah? Tennis, who are the guys? Dokovic, Andy Murray, Federer, Nadal, yeah. But they don't play when it rains in tennis, do they? They just go off. Same in cricket, yeah? You either be a fair weather batsman, fair weather bowler, or... Uh... So we're near Sri Lanka here. The Maldives, yeah. It's near Sri Lanka. Um... 1998 oval test match. 1998. These are some of the other beach winners, yeah? Get carried away with the tennis court in the rain. 1998 oval test match. London. We're near Sri Lanka, yeah? Murali. 
home early. I was there for the final day. David Lloyd Bumble, he was the England coach, yeah. I was there at the Oval the final day. Murley uh, basically got nine wickets. Uh, bowled England out on the last day. And uh, Sri Lanka won the test match. I was at the Oval. Uh, if you ask BBC for the entire footage on that day, you'll see me, uh, Nasser Hussein, all these guys, they're walking out to bed. I was showing it right next to them. Yeah, ask the BBC. You'll see Mr. K on TV. 18, 20 years ago, 1998. I was on the BBC. Okay, so Murali is not a fair weather. Murali uh, is from Sri Lanka, right? Bowling the night in London. It's not a fair weather bowler, it's a great bowler. 800 test wickets. What do you have that in? Next door. All right, it's not raining. This is the lobby area. Okay, what we'll do here is we just walked all the way around. Gift shops here. Get sidetracked there talking about sport. Sports vans. Gift shops are here. The gym is upstairs. Yeah, gym's up there. Island Breeze is the gift shop. Yeah, the gym is upstairs, you have to go upstairs. Walk is, walk is plenty, exercise enough. Okay. Walk is plenty, exercise enough, so lobby through here. Let's quickly walk to the lobby. in the sand people. There's the bathroom there. There's the hotel lobby. Right, let's go. Yeah, that's the bar. We were in there earlier. Well, we're gonna go back in there. Okay, let's go. Alright, so that covers this island. So that covers this island. This is the water sports centre. Um We'll just cut the video here. I'll show you the buggy across the bridge. We'll just cut the video here. I'll show you the buggy across the bridge. And then uh, the seaplane coming in. I'll show you the buggy across the bridge. And we'll continue on the other side uh, uh, later today, later this afternoon. All right. Let's watch the seaplane. That's a Downey going across the other side. That's the Downey that connects the two islands. I uh, will walk and take buggies and stuff. Just down the distance, the two bedroom uh, Sea View Sunset Villa. That's uh, a famous one here as well. It's got it's won awards, it's like the best overwater villa in the world or something, yeah? Downey. The seaplane's coming in. Where are we taking off actually? See the seaplane there? So you get here, it's 100 kilometers from Male. Ready, we'll see you later. That's the first half of the uh, Conrad tour. See you later and uh, we'll go on the other side. All right, take a buggy and uh, walk over. Watch out for the, uh, the manor rays. That's the plane. All right, ciao. Right 
So 8.30 to 9.30 the metro is coming. So I'm not a guarantee because this is an ocean. If I feed them like you know, bread crumbs and uh, biscuits and things, uh, if I throw some, if I throw like biscuits in the water, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I know, it's more than one thing, yeah. World's first underwater restaurant now? Huh? Yes, yes. And also the more even first uh, undersea one. Yeah. Perfect, thank you very much. Yeah, Conrad, Maldives, Bengali Island. So we'll, uh, we'll do our tour of the uh, the Rangali Island side uh, on an evening. We're standing on the uh, the sea seaplane platform, which sits at the uh, the centre of the resort. Uh, we'll walk around to uh, Rangali Island on this side. Okay, so some of the, uh, the deluxe overwater villas just over there. It's windy on an evening, okay? <coughs> That's where I'm staying, just over there. This is uh, Rangali Island. It's the best part of uh, sort of 600 meters long. <coughs> and the bridge uh, between the two islands. Yeah, so when you arrive here, yeah, it's, this is the first thing you see. Conrad, it's between the two islands, Rangali and uh, Rangali Finolu. So we'll do the, uh, the evening uh, we'll walk around my side, as it were, where I'm staying on an evening. There's a bridge between the two islands. Yes, that says the, uh, you got the Ithaka, the, uh, the world's first underwater restaurant. So, main reception, lobby, spa, and so on. Day and night, day and evening. Beautiful uh, feel. Yeah, this is the uh, arrivals lobby for the uh, seaplane arrivals. Right, we've got a bit of a walk. We've got a bit of a walk to Rangali Island. It's the beauty of the Maldives. Yeah, so we'll, uh, we'll get around, we'll cover uh, Rangali Island uh, just before sunset like we're doing now. Um, yeah, so the, uh, so this, this it's Conrad Rangali, yeah, it's, uh, it's in the Guinness Book of Records almost, yeah. That sunset water villa that you see right out there, it's like awarded like the world's best global water villa or something. Um, because it's quite special. Like two bedrooms and all this stuff, yeah. We'll walk on the beach there. Yep, drive a pavilion. Yeah, so that's two claims to fame. This hotel has the world's first underwater restaurant at uh, Ithaka and uh, that sunset villa right at the end. So on this side you've got sort of, it's basically, this side is all the uh, overwater villas. Uh, they've got a quiet pool, the villa restaurant, and so on. And apparently on this bridge in the evenings you see manta rays swimming, swimming past. Uh, I've, already, I've got footage of manta rays in the water, I'll, I'll add it on uh, as we walk, walk around. Yes, yeah, so there's a private pool and uh, 
villa restaurant and stuff up here. We'll go we'll, we'll right at the end, we'll uh, get in the salient points. Yeah, so welcome people, yeah? Conrad, it's great. What an evening. Uh, I think that's where the, uh, the hotel staff stay. So there's three islands here, yeah? That's what, I think that's for the, uh, the staff. There's another bridge across there. Very peaceful place. Some boats. Resort. Um, so Conrad are part of the Hilton family. Conrad are part of the Hilton family. <coughs> Waldorf Astoria are building a new resort in the Maldives. It should be open next year. Or this year. Hilton are building a new one. I've said at the Hilton, I've said at the Hilton in the Maldives before, Irufushi. They've closed it, yeah. Uh, they're building a new one. Which apparently is like nine islands. So uh Somebody walking past and yeah. So Hilton are building a new resort in the Maldives. Apparently it's like nine islands here. Yeah. Conrad are part of the Hilton family. Uh, this one's two, yeah. You think two is big enough, yeah. I'm not sure what nine islands that the Hilton's gonna be like. Pretty amazing. Okay, let's walk onto this beach. And then uh, we'll walk all the way along that beach to Villu restaurant and we'll walk swing by my room. Well, I'll swing by my room, show you some manta rays in the water. Yeah, so they've gone this side, they've got like uh, yoga pavilion in the village. I'm in 343, quiet zone, that's where the pool is. Villa restaurant, walk up there, a water spa, all this stuff. So uh, the beach on Rangali Island is just over here. The beach on uh, Rangali, excuse me, come around. These spots are rain in the air. The beach on uh, Rangali Island, it's annoying here when you watch it on TV and there's a rain, a dot of rain there. And that's what we experience. Uh, yeah, let's go to the beach. You can meditate in the mornings. Die! Die! Okay, that's where we started. That's the bridge. The light is lovely. That's the bridge between uh, the two islands. That's where your seaplane gets you in, yeah? It's, brilliant. it's a great seaplane ride as well, yeah? You see all the loads of resort, all the islands, the atolls. The 26 atolls that uh, form the Maldives. 1,200 islands, only 200 inhabited. So you have your own uh, castaway island here, yeah? Me, myself and I on the island. Yeah, we're in May. Uh, the best time to visit is October to May. Uh, I've got a bit of a cloudy day, a bit of wind here. It's all right, as long as it doesn't rain, you can do anything. It's like cricket, yeah? As long as it doesn't rain, you can do anything. So I'm, my villa is just over there, basically. Yeah, it's the beach here. Staff Island. Main Island. Plane platform. Ready. So we'll, uh, we'll just walk on the beach for five minutes to the uh, the quiet zone pool on an evening. Local time is. Half past six in the evening, sunset is in about an hour's time. 
sunset is now time. Um, we'll get around uh, in the evening on this side. Thaka. What is there there? Achtung baby! Strong currents. Okay, let's, uh, let's walk the beach on the side. They've designed this quite nicely. I can just walk across. Cut the beach properly. Yeah, we'll walk back through the jungles uh, to my room. So on that side it's basically beach villas, yeah? All the beach villas, not the overwater. This side is mostly overwater villas. They're in different categories like Premier, Superior, Deluxe. Mine is sort of uh, three quarters of the way up the, uh, the category list. Spa is over there, Milado, the restaurant. That's where you do the fish feeding. In the afternoons, it's just over there. I've got some villas over there as well. So when I checked in, the, uh, the guy, he said, uh, my villa's quite nice, yeah? Um, like, my villa's quite nice, like best part of the, you'll see it. It's about best part of a thousand US dollars a night. And he said, uh, if you're an upgrade to a two bedroom one that's 50% larger, with a huge discount for 200 US dollars, I said, nah, mate, I've already checked out the place on uh, Expedia and your website. I like my villa. Yeah, but those ones are uh, sort of spa retreat villas. I wanted mine. Yeah, spa retreat villas on that side. So there are two bedrooms and larger and this and that. Now, done my research. Happy with mine. Yeah, main lobby, shops and stuff are all out there. It's one of the bars here, the quiet bar. Let's walk past. Hi. It's a bar at the beach. Nice, isn't it? Got smooch uh, chairs. Smooch chairs. Let's walk the end here. Lovely beach, yeah? I saw manta rays in the water. Got video footage, I'll show you later. On this video. Yes, yeah, so this is the quiet pool. It's got a swimming pool here as well. It's a bit windy, yeah, that's why there's nobody in the pool. That's the pool here. One of the pools. May is May, May, yeah, May 2018. It's considered like pretty much high season. It's windy. There's a lot of competition for these hotels in the Maldives. Uh, Maldives has the most ex Maldives has the most expensive hotels in the world, yeah? Uh, there's no doubt. It's higher than Bora Bora and uh, so on. Most expensive hotels in the world. You just love being here, you don't need a pool. Alright, deal. Yeah, that's that famous sunset one over there. Right out there. like a two bedroom and it's one, it's one awards. It's like, I don't know, five grand a night or something to book that, yeah? I'm guessing this is probably five times the size of mine. Yep. 
bar at the beach. Go this way. Let's get our feet wet, yeah? Let's get our feet wet, sports fans. Why not? Nice time of the day. This beach, yeah. Check this out for a beach. The sand is better than anywhere in the world. Uh, Maldives is like it's this. There's this un underwater mountain range. Yeah, it's called the Chagos Lacadive mountain range, uh, and a bit stick out the water. You know, like you can just walk down here. Yeah? Bit stick out. Um, yeah, I'm in the water. I got a feet feet wet. Yeah. Bit stick out and then coral grows, and then uh, you get these islands like 1,200 islands. Yeah, people have only bothered to live on 200 of them. Yeah, uh, I know plenty of people uh, everywhere in the world who would more than happily live on the other 1,000 islands. Yeah, but the fact is that people only live on 200 of the islands in the Maldives. Uh, and I was born in Sri Lanka next door, so you can take it from me. Yeah, uh, there are 1,000 islands here uninhabited. I'll come and live on one of them. More than happily. All right, let's go. Uh, we'll cut in, and uh, we'll uh, we won't talk about climate change either. The highest altitude of anywhere in the Maldives is 2.4 meters. Uh, we'll cut in. We'll go and uh, walk to my room through the forests. Yeah, so that's a spa just over there. It's a restaurant there called Miladu. Uh, fish feeding and stuff. There's the villas out there. Nice. Yeah, we'll cut through the. Uh, let's go some villas and stuff. Uh, let's go up to the restaurant. Villa restaurants just up here. Some, they do actually have. Uh, uh, actually, no, it's not. It's just a deck. I thought we were walking past somebody's beach house, but it's just. Uh, Smooch area again. Sun is setting. Sunset is on this side. So if you want to, sunrise is over there on that side. Sunset is on this side. What a beach, eh? That's one of the other uh, islands out there. So this is the uh, the South Ari Atoll. So last year when I went to the W Hotel, the W that's on the North Ari Atoll, there are 26 atolls in the Maldives, 26 atolls, each atoll being like a volcano that's just sprung up and then corals have grown. Yeah, well, there's no beach first here, yeah? They're on the other side. There's just smooch areas. Um, yeah, you see it best on the airplane, yeah? But it's a bit like Bora Bora Bor is one. This is like 26. Villa restaurants just there. It's very close to the beach. I see some fish. I'll be wet twice. Villa restaurant. Alright, we're gonna walk through the jungle now. The jungles of the Maldives. Uh, to my villa. That's the uh, the pri the quiet pool there. Just beyond is the seaplane terminal. Seaplane terminal is just beyond. And, uh, somebody's nice yacht parked outside.
The hotel has a glass bottom boat which you might just be able to pick up. That's for the Wi-Fi that tower, yeah? The Wi-Fi is decent. There's a glass bottom boat just out there, you can't see. So earlier. I'll cut through the forests to my villa. This little restaurant here. Get ready for dinner and stuff. <coughs> Nobody say yet. So it's the other, other water villas. It's out there. That's that famous sunset one right out there. It's a great place for dinner, yeah? Uh, I don't think I'll change the habit of a lifetime and uh, not have in villa dining. That's just me. Rooms are this way. Rooms are this way. Everybody has to eat on their travels, uh, but I'll eat in the privacy of my own room. Alrighty, jungles. Welcome to the jungle. We got fun and games, Guns N' Roses. Yeah. So uh, I saw some stingrays in the water, I'll show you. Uh, let's walk along. Uh... Yeah, so this is uh, Rangali Island. Looks like this, it's main island. My villa is just out there. So these are the villa numbers. I mean, 343. It's 331 just out there. I think they're doing uh, evening turn down service. Well, uh, got like coconut trees and stuff. Yeah, coconuts could fall on your head. Yeah, there's no hospital on the island. I think there might be a clinic. Uh, I think they have a CT scanner or a neurosurgeon on duty, yeah? So, uh, could be in the shtuk if a coconut falls on your head properly. Yeah, so my villa is just over here. I was walking around earlier. I saw some stingrays in the water. So I'll just clip the video. I'll show you the stingrays. And then now uh, we'll walk to my uh, deluxe overwater villa. The plan, people. Yeah, I'll show you some coconuts on the trees. Yeah, look how windy it is. Thankfully, it's not raining. Yeah, like I said, uh, wind is not a problem. I grew up playing cricket. Wind is not a problem. Just swing the ball, man. But uh, rain is a problem. I'll show you these villas, so I'm on this side. These are the superior ones, uh, Deluxe is better. Uh, I haven't seen a superior one on the inside, so I can't tell you how, but uh, Deluxe costs more, so it must be better, right? Sun is setting. So here I saw some stingrays, right? I'll just cut the video. I'll show you my little buddies, so you might see them again. Then we've got a Storky. Got a stalky for you. Let's right, see how close we can get. See the lights coming on on the villas? I'm just over there. Let's see how close we get before it flies off. Oh, brother, come back, man.
Alright, we're not in this lab anymore. I think uh, we will not disturb Mr. Stalky anymore, but I saw some stingrays here. Let's cut the video, show the stingrays. We'll go to my room. <coughs> Conrad, you got some stingrays there, yeah? This is nature people, stingrays in the water. Beautiful. Conrad Rangali Resort Maldives. The, fellas, the boys are playing. Boys and girls even. Villa is uh, just over there. It's Chemois. Yeah, that's how close they get to the beach. Amazing. It's amazing how close they get to the beach. So that was uh, three stingrays in the water, yeah, lovely. Swimming and playing along. Mr. Stalky is still here. I think he's looking for fish. That's the resort uh, down there. Maldives is an amazing place. Yeah, it's amazing just being here. I'm here for five days, this is day one. First day of my holiday, yeah? Just amazing and relaxing. Just peaceful on the mind of being here. <coughs> the water is clear. Absolutely crystal clear waters. Amazing. All right, let's go to the room. Walk through the forest for a bit. See enough of the beaches. Yeah, Superior Villa's on this side. Yeah, so walk to my room. Uh, I'll quickly show you the room and then uh, go and have dinner. Yeah, so we just walked up from. So those are villas number 335 to 338. Uh, I'm in uh, 343. Sure, coconut on the way, yeah? Four, four, four's on my head. So I'm going to walk down here. It's a royal wedding. When you get to the room, uh, there's a royal wedding going on. Yeah, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. You'll see that, uh... Yeah, can you see a coconut up there? Yeah, there's a couple of coconuts. Come over here. Yeah, got a coconut for you. Es ist windy. Sehr windy. Es regnet nicht, aber es ist windy. Yeah, it's raw wedding on TV. Still lovely, yeah. I said it the uh, Taj Exotic. Hi. Hi. Uh, I said it the uh, the Taj Exotica, the Maldives a few years ago. We had an electrical thunderstorm one night. Yeah, it's properly thunder and lightning. Yeah. That's mine's the next one. Yeah, the lights coming on. It's really nice. It's a forest like this. Yeah. 
stop it unless there's lightning and thunder. You're on this little island in the middle of uh, yeah, the Indian Ocean, basically, yeah? Yeah, it's a good feeling. All right, my room is just up here. Next block, another bird walking across. Ah, escaped. We missed him. There's more coconuts there, yeah? That's what a coconut looks like, by the way. Some people have never seen a coconut in their life. Some people have never seen a resort in the Maldives in their life. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Yeah, that's my villa, right there. That's my villa. Still it's at dusk. As the sun sets. The wind is a lovely feeling. Um, the wind gives it a lovely feeling, yeah. It's just, rather than just being hot and sunny like, the wind just makes it feel nice. Uh, you just have to take it from me. Because uh, I'm actually here. Alrighty, so I'm in 343. There's a spot here to wash your feet. The lights are coming on for the evening. Rangali Island. One of two islands that make up the uh, the Conrad Resort in the Maldives. It's my villa just there. We started the tour on the beach over there or at least uh, walk, we didn't start the tour there I walked you onto the beach just there Let's get in the room on this side. Villas on this side. So they're all numbered. Kitaka, the world's first underwater restaurant is there. Ships, speedboats, etc. Fancy yachts. Staff Island. X marks the spot. The water down below. It's about one meter deep. Uh, it's quite choppy. Uh, the best time to go in the water is uh, early morning when it's low tide. Uh, but the winds, uh, you see the winds, yeah, you see the trees. Uh, the winds generate the waves and uh, the currents and whatnot. So uh, yeah, we're on the south southwest southwest corner of this atoll. Uh, beyond there is just you know Antarctica's the next stop basically. So uh, yeah, it's not ideal to go in the water. So you can go in the water. There's other spots. The Rangani Fulu Island uh, down there. Anyway, at least you saw some uh, stingrays. Nice, eh? Nice time in the evening to conclude our tour of the uh, the Conrad, the Maldives. Well, I'll quickly, I'll quickly whiz you in around the room, yeah? Follow it a day. It's no dinner time. It's my place. Uh, this is your key card here. Uh, Conrad Rangali in the Republic of Maldives. 
front is your standard uh, Conrad keycard where it blows off into the water that's the neighbors. See where the ocean breaks from the lagoon? Way out there is the ocean, yeah, it's the deep blue yonder. Deep blue ocean. That's what an atoll is, yeah? Hey, right, so they'll come in. Come around Maldives, Rangali Island. Slip this one in there. I forgot which way it is now. Okay, green light comes on. I think it works both ways, yeah? So welcome to Shemoa. The Maldives. That's the uh, bathroom through there. It's in the day and evening. Let's walk along there. Very nice. Yep. And the place. Yeah, this one a thousand US for this. But the doors are closed because of uh, the wind. There's a bathroom in here. Sports fans, greetings. Uh, Conrad, sports fans, greetings. Conrad Rangali, Maldives Island Resort. Welcome, boys and girls. There's bathrooms right here. Get the deck out there. Condensation tower, that's the, uh, the bathroom window, neighbours next door. Cozy place to call home, yeah? The shower, toilets. Place, boys and girls, we'll come in. I'm not more on Gali Island. Yeah. The villa. We'll show you Google Maps. And then, uh, Google Maps. So that's where we are. Conrad Maldives, we're on, uh, so we started, that's the seaplane bit in the middle. And then Rangali Fulo Island, Rangali Island, we walked to the Vidu restaurant and bar, back down. Yeah, that's the place. So South Ari Atoll, so that's the South Ari Atoll. Ari Atoll, W where I said last year is there. Uh, Maldives, Mali, the airport. That's the airport runway, Hulhu Male. Male is the main city. So we're on the first atoll to the west. Yeah, South Ari Atoll or Ari Atoll. Yeah, Bladia, the Sri Lanka, India. And so on. Neighbours. Okay. So walk you outside and then uh, call it a day. Put the royal wedding on TV. Harry and uh, Harry and uh, Megan. Yeah, it's the place, villa. And the red boy, red boy has his own bed here. That's uh, just how it is. Yeah, red boy has his own bed here. There you go, deck out here. The jacuzzi. Sun decks. Side area here. Yeah, so it's the next door neighbors. Yeah, the resort is way out there. Our famous beach friend, yeah? And the Indian Ocean. Get our feet wet and we'll close the video off. Yep. Actually, just wanted to clean my shoes, yeah? Because I have to go back in the room afterwards. Uh, I just want to get my sand off my feet. I'm sorry about that. Yeah. Antarctic Ocean is that way. It's one of the uh, uninhabited islands on uh, South Area Atoll. The water makes a lovely sound. 
can hear it, yeah? Like winning the Olympics at 100 meter freestyle, yeah? If you're ever lucky enough to watch such yeah, room, deck, jacuzzi, bathroom. Thanks for watching the tour. We'll see you on our travels, people. Alright, ciao. Conrad, Rangali, Maldives. 10 out of 10.